I've heard you, I've read the comments, and I've seen that some of you are unable to remove McAfee antivirus from your computer. Well, don't panic because there are other ways that you can remove the security program from your Windows machine. So I will be showing you two different ways you can do this today in this video. So the first thing that you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below. Once you've clicked on the link, you will end up on McAfee's website. And funny enough, they actually have a tool to remove their own security software. So we need to scroll down and you will then see a few different options and you need to go to the option two. You need to expand this and you then need to scroll down a bit more and you will then see download MCPR tool. You need to click onto this. And once that's finished downloading, go ahead and open up the .exe. It will now begin to extract some files. You just need to be a bit patient and wait a few seconds. And you will then see a window that looks like this. So this utility will remove all components installed by McAfee on your computer. You will be asked to reboot at the end of the process. So before we go any further, as you can see, it does say before proceeding, please ensure you have uninstalled McAfee products through the add and remove programs. So some of you may have already done that, some of you might not have. So I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly. So you need to right click on the start menu icon and go to apps and features. You then need to click search this list and type McAfee. You then need to select McAfee Total Protection and go uninstall and then uninstall. This will now begin to uninstall the program from your computer. You need to go ahead and click on this option here and you can then choose if you want to remove all files, which I do. You then need to click on remove and you then need to click on remove again. Okay, so once that's finished, it will then say software removed. You now need to click on restart now and once your computer is restarted, you then need to go ahead and open up the .exe that we downloaded for the McAfee software removal. You can now go ahead and click on next and you then need to agree to the terms. If you do, click on I agree and then go next. You then need to type in the security validation. So I hate doing these, but there we go. That's not too bad. And then go next and there's another one. So I believe I did the last one wrong. And like I said, I really don't like doing these. Um, that should be it. There we go. So it's now preparing to uninstall all McAfee's products from my computer. So let's allow this to run and it should remove all leftover files and registry keys and absolutely everything. So this is the best way to remove McAfee completely from your computer. You can see that although I actually uninstalled it, it's still managing to actually remove some stuff from my machine. And once that's finished, you should now have a window that says removal complete. And you can go ahead and click on the restart button to restart your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart now, and then I will show you a second way that you can remove McAfee completely from your computer. In fact, the second method that I'll show you will help you remove any program from your Windows computer as if it was never installed before. Alrighty, for the second method, you need to click on the second link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You then need to scroll down and under Revo Uninstaller Freeware, you need to click on Portable. That's now going to download a zip folder. You then need to open up the location where it downloaded to and you then need to right click on it and go Extract All. You then need to go Extract. Once that's extracted, go ahead and open up the folder and you then need to open up this .exe that says Revo U port. You then need to go OK if you do agree to the license. You now have a window that looks like this. So this is now loading all the programs, apps, games, everything that's on your computer. You now need to click in the search bar at the top and we need to type in McAfee. You then need to select McAfee and you then need to right click on it and we then need to go uninstall. You then need to go yes. As you can see straight away it's detected that this program here is also to do with McAfee. So leftovers from all these programs will be found. Are you sure you want to continue? So let's go ahead and click on yes. So you can either choose to do a system restore point if you want or not. I'm not actually going to. You then need to click on continue and it's now going to begin to uninstall McAfee. 
And once it's uninstalled, so we're using the default McAfee uninstaller here. So I'm going to go remove and then remove again. So once that's removed, we can then go back to Revo. So I will show you in a second to then find any leftover files, folders, registry keys, um, another program like, for example, WebAdvisor, it detected absolutely anything that got installed with McAfee. So once that's finished uninstalling, we are now going to click on Restart Later. And we're then going to go back to Revo. So we have three different options here. We're going to actually choose the Moderate option. And we're then going to go Scan. So as you can see, it's found a load of registry keys that have still been left behind even after uninstalling McAfee. So we can go ahead and select these registry keys and remove them. So for example, if I want to remove this one, I can select it here. If I scroll down, you can see there's more here. So I can then select McAfee there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click on delete and then go yes. And we then have a load more files and folders that have also been left behind by McAfee. So just go through and make sure just like the registry that you are selecting the right thing. So that all looks fine. I can then go ahead and go select all and then go delete and then yes. And this is now going to delete all those files and folders that have also been left behind. So you can see there, that's been done. Any remaining files will be deleted during the next system restart. So I can now go ahead and go finish. And that's done. That has now removed everything. If I click on search and go McAfee, we do still have the web advisor. So we can also right click on that and go uninstall if we want. Again, you can choose to do a system restore if you want, um, create a point. Go ahead and click on continue and then go no thanks, just uninstall. Go OK and then that's done. We can then go moderate or you could go advanced if you would prefer a more advanced experience. It will do a deeper scan. So if I click on scan, you can see again it's found a registry key that has been left behind. And I know it's McAfee because it says there. So I can just go ahead and select that and then go delete and then yes. And there's more files here related to the McAfee web advisor, even though it said it has completely been removed from my computer. So we can go select all and then go delete and then yes. And then go OK and we can now go finish. So there we go. That is how you can use Revo to completely remove McAfee from your computer. Also, the good thing about Revo, you can use it, like I said earlier on in the video, you can use it to remove absolutely anything from your computer like it never even existed. Anyway, if you like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button.